I'm a guide, and so going on the mountains is my job. And I'm currently climbing the Seventh Summit, which is a special alpine circuit uh, dealing with the highest peak. My next, my next peak will be Mount Everest, and so on April I will go to uh, try to climb Mount Everest. As you know, uh, Mount Everest is the highest peak in the world, so uh, the biggest challenge it would be uh, the lack of oxygen. Uh, when you are on the summit, you scratch 9,000 meters, uh, and so you have to be well, really well trained. Uh, usually I train twice a day, uh, from Monday to Friday. Uh, in the morning I do running training, uh, I run for two hours, and um, in, the, in the afternoon uh, I do gym training just to uh, improve my strength. In the weekend I go on the mountains and just to get used to uh, high altitude and, uh, and to the cold. And, um, and I go off with a heavy rucksack just because you have to be well prepared in carrying heavy, heavy weights with your, with your rucksack d during the acclimatization up and down on the mountains. Well, it's a, it's a long story to, to tell. Um, uh, we have to go back when I was a kid. Uh, I spent a lot of uh, evenings uh, listening to my grandpa, who was uh, uh, an alpine trooper, and uh, a friend of his who was an alpine guide, and they were talking to each other about mountains and, and uh, incredible challenges on, on the 4,000 of the Alps. And, uh, and so I become uh, addic addicted to, uh, to this passion of, of going on the mountains. First time I went to uh, 4,000 meters I was 10 and, and, uh, and I, never, I never stopped it. And uh, so I, I do it for passion, for passion because <laughs> I have to say that I don't earn anything <laughs> of this, uh, in these in this challenges. And, um, and I do it because uh, I want to uh, maybe probably I want to prove something to myself, uh, being able to to climb all the highest peaks in, in the in, in, of the continents. But I don't do it just for uh, fun or uh, for myself. But I always try to to put something uh, human in my challenges. And so this time uh, I will try to get some money to build uh, a school for um, a Nepalese village which has been raised to the ground by the, the recent earthquake in 2015. Well, it's, it's quite fun to tell because, uh, as I told you, I'm a personal trainer and um, an employee uh, of ST uh, usually comes in, in my gym and, and, and trains with me. And so we were talking about Mount Everest, and just easy, it was a easy talking. And uh, and I said, and I told him, uh, um, my idea was to, to climb Mount Everest. And, and so uh, he he told me, yeah, maybe we can see what we can do. Uh, maybe we can sponsor you and give you some help and uh, and give you our product, uh, very technical product. And, uh, and so I said yes, why not? Uh, and that's it. Thank you, Luca. Uh, I have a special present uh, for you on behalf of ST. It's a sensor unit. We would like that you bring it with you on Everest. Uh, we look forward to receiving news and pictures of you on Everest. Thank you. <laughs>